Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Sylvia Kid here. Today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to make your own Flappy Birds clone. Now, if you don't know what Flappy Birds is, it's a game that was recently hit it big on the App Store. Um, basically what it is, it's a little bird and he's got fly-through pipes. Um, this, is a, this is a clone I've already made. This is something I was messing around with one night and threw this together. So, before I start the tutorial, I do want to say a big thank you to Scott Wilson. He's my college lecturer in games design, and he's the one that's I pretty much watched his tutorial and made my own. So all props really and truly go to him. Link to his channel will be in the description. Um, there's his channel right there. So, anyways, this is my one. This is Flappy Dave. That's my head there. <laughs> yes, for uh, for those of you that don't know what I look like, that's me. And we're just going to have a quick play test of it here, just to show you what it is. Oh, I'm bad at my own game. <laughs> See, as it writes your it writes your uh, score up on the screen there. So, press enter to retry. And, uh, uh, no, I'm really, really bad at my own game. Anyways, so we're going to close off of that. Now, the, the software that we're going to use for this is a program called Stencil. Yeah, this is... Stencil, if you go to stencil.com and just hit the download button, why are all these adverts popping up? <laughs> um, right, there should be a download button around here, so right here, download Stencil. If you download Stencil, it's going to download it to your computer. You just choose the one you want, and that's the software that we're going to use. So we're going to close off of Internet Explorer for now. Um, well, I'm already looking at the game I've already made. Don't want to show you guys that just yet. Uh, we'll hit save on that. Right now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already done the graphics. So once you get into stencil, you're gonna come here and you're gonna create new game. You're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here, and you're gonna want to make a blank game from scratch. Excuse me. So we're gonna call this one uh, Flappy Dave tutorial okay 640 by 480 is it's it's perfect for what we need it for right now so we're just gonna go at 640 by 480 for this okay so we're gonna this screen comes up now so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a scene so for this scene we're gonna call it level uh, this is fine 640 by 480 tile width that's perfect and just hit create Now we're on this we're on this part here now. Okay, so we'll go to so we'll go back to dashboard and we want to hit backgrounds and create a new background. So we're gonna call this background we're just gonna call it background, forget <laughs> background's fine. And this screen pops up and we'll go click here to add a frame. So we're gonna choose image. As I said, oh that's a game I'm already working on. So just ignore that. Uh, in here and Flappy Dave. Okay, so we're gonna. This is a background I previously made for Flappy Dave. Um, you can take as much time as you want. I threw this together really quickly in Photoshop. Photoshop. Um, if you don't have it, pho Photoshop is the uh, best one to use. Uh, but you can use other programs like GIMP and whatnot. So we're just gonna go with this background for now. You can design it however you want. Uh, it's your game. So you just you just mess around with with any ideas that you might have so we're gonna so we have our background in place we're gonna go back to level and up here in the little toolbars at the top here we're gonna go to this one here to show our background now if our background doesn't show up simply all we have to do there is just come up here and hit save game and once that's finished saving come on hurry up just gonna hit the show back. Oh, hi, hang on. My bad. We've got to add the background into the level first. So we have to add the background in first. So you come here to the top here where it says scenes, behaviors, events, physics, background, and properties. So if we go to background and hit the add button over here, we choose our background and bang, that's on our level. And now we can hit show scene. If it doesn't come up straight away, just hit the save game. And there we go. There's our background in the scene. Now, for, now, the next thing we want to do is we want to create our player, the actor. Which is, So if we come up here, on the, so if we go back to dashboards and come up here to where it says actor types, 
click on that area there and create one and we'll call this Dave obviously because our character is going to be my head so this actor contains no animations click here to add an animation so just click on that and click here to add a frame and then you're going to choose your image I've already got my image there and we're just going to hit add now for the collisions the collisions are perfect right there because the head's never really going to be spinning or rotating so it's only ever going to hit that part there so that's perfect for what we need so if we go to physics and affected by gravity yes can rotate no and what kind of actor type normal properties now what we're going to do is is here we're going to add this to the uh, players group so if you come to properties up here and where it says group we're going to add that to players and so far so good right so what's the next thing next thing next thing next thing we're going to have to add in um, another actor for the uh, pipes so we're going to call these obstacles obstacle actually no we're not going to add anything in just yet what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to photoshop as you can see i've already got the pipes there right and this blank one here is our is our screen it's 640 by 480 in fact you know i'm going to make a new one because i want to show you what we have to do here so this one's going to be we're going to entitle this one obstacles okay now if you work in photoshop or you're new to photoshop you never want to work on your background layer so if you just double click on the background layer at the bottom there hit OK and that will bring us this new layer here so if we use the magic wand tool we can now delete that white background and we have a transparent background uh, control D to get off the selection so what we're going to do we're going to grab these pipes here this is the first set of pipes we're going to grab the oh, don't want to use the magic wand on them right so we're going to grab these pipes and we're just going to drag up here to our obstacles file and place them in there okay now what I find handy with when working on Photoshop is having the grids up it helps me get the right sort of separation and space between the pipes so what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit preferences and guides grids and slices and we want to show a grid line every 32 pixels now the colors are completely up to you you can mess around with the colors how you like I'm just gonna have it at black for the time being so but you want a grid line every 32 pixels so we'll just hit OK on that and to get our grids up there's two ways of doing it you can go view show and grid Oops, excuse my phone there I'm getting emails or you can just hit control and the at key and it'll bring up the grids for us so we want to put these in place where they where they have a sort of even where they have a sort of even amount of space between them um, that looks right we're just gonna get the, the down pipe because because I made them on separate layers okay we just want to go view and make sure snap is on snap is on for this because snap helps out a lot and bang and then we'll do the up pipe we just want to make sure it's in the exact same position as that one and that's perfect so that's our first set of pipes we're just going to turn off the grids for the time being and what we want to do now is we want to select both the layers pipe down and pipe up folders and we are going to what are we going to do we're going to hit control J to duplicate them and shift and drag out put the grids back on actually and we want to sort of just get as many of these pipes into this screen as we actually can uh, we're just going to see if we can get as many I think we might be able to get about six in if I remember right for the first time doing this yep six okay so we have all our copies of our pipes now right so the first one that's perfect there's no need to change that at all so we're going to go to the first copy that we made of the pipes and simply hold shift to drag them to a good position that you want for your pipe obstacles okay so we're just going to do this for all of them just sort of randomize them out 
Okay. Now this one. It's a bit low, that one. We'll go with that one. And that. Oh. If you make a if you make a mistake like that in Photoshop where you move something, instead of just going to edit and undo, just hit a quick control Z. It's just a nice little shortcut to help you out. And I'm after making the mistake again. Um to tell you the truth, I don't know if we're actually gonna need this many pipes, but we'll go with it anyway. And then the last one. And that's perfect. Okay. Now, what you want to do for this is always want to be saving your work in this because there's untold times when, when, when I've been working on a game in college, and I've made a mistake and forgotten to save and lost a lot of work. So it's just best to just always just do a control save okay so what we're gonna I'm gonna create a new folder in this flappy Dave folder so new folder flappy Dave 2 okay and this is just gonna be our obstacles PSD okay right so we have our obstacles now we have to get our first set of pipes okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a crop on these pipes, oh, what in the world happened there? I have no idea. So we we don't want to we don't want to crop that. Crop. Um, why is it doing that? It should not be doing that. But okay. Right. So we just crop out the first set of pipes. Bang. There's our obstacle one. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that as a PNG. Okay. This is obstacle one PNG. Okay. Now all you want to do is you want to do that for each and every one of the pipes. So we're just going to hit a Control Z. Uh, actually, we're going to cancel off the crop and then we're going to hit. Why is it not going back? There we go. Okay. So Control Alt Z brings it back. Okay. So what you want to do? I'm going to pause the recording here because I'm just going to do this bit off camera. You just want to crop out each and every pipe as you please, as you need them okay okay as you can see now I've done I've cropped out all six sets of pipes and they're ready and they're they're ready to go so let's go back into stencil here and we want to make another actor type and we're gonna call this O B obstacle actually no, I'm not gonna call it obstacle it's too long uh, I'm just gonna call it pipe one okay and create so, hit click here to add a frame. I'm going to go to our Flappy Dave 2 and Obstacle 1. Now, there's our obstacle. Just want to check it on the uh, level here. And see, see how we just hit the snaps up here. So they kind of snap into place and they work perfectly. Sweet. Okay. So, now we're going to go back to pipe now. We have our actors set up. What I'm going to do now is show you guys the collisions, okay? And then I'm probably going to end the video there, um, and we're going to move on to the next video, which will probably be something like programming in the bird or Dave's head in this on this occasion. So we're going to go into collisions here on pipe one. It's just the collision up here. Actually, you know what? I want to do physics first. I want to do cannot move. Actually, no, cannot be pushed determines if this no we want that it can't rotate and we want it to uh, right okay we can't click that option anyway okay so properties and we're gonna make we're gonna turn this into a group so the first group that we're gonna turn it into sorry first group we're gonna turn it what the hell am I talking about we're gonna make it into its own actor group okay and what the actor group it's basically what shows what groups can collide with other groups and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit so first thing is properties then we're gonna go to edit groups and we're gonna go up here to create new and we're gonna name this one obstacles and just hit create 
and that can collide with players so just hit OK on that that seems OK to me and now we're gonna go to the collision now with now with the pipes as you can see it's got one big collision box around it um, but you don't want that because when the because when the bird tries to fly through this area it's just gonna hit off this collision here and it's not gonna make the game any fun really is it so what we want to do is we want to change the size of this collision box to and we're just gonna do a bit of guesswork here only because I'm too lazy to do any maths or multiplications alright so it's higher than 150, 160 160 looks about right, we're just going to zoom in just to clarify that um, maybe 159 nope 161 in height and right, it was better at 160, ok so there's our first collision box made on the top pipe so what we want to do is we want to add in another box we just hit ok there and we're just going to literally create the exact same thing and drag it down actually no you can't drag it down so if you just use the arrow keys to just push it down I'm just going to zoom out here real quick so we can see it going into place okay right I thought that would be the exact same size is that one okay my bad my bad We'll bring it down a bit more maybe to 140 and click on the box and use the arrow keys to see it's all pretty much guesswork with this you're just gonna have to do this with all of the pipes I'm obviously not gonna show them on camera you can do them yourselves I'm just gonna show you the first one um, this is the tedious bit of doing it uh, right so 129 and we should be perfect nope 128 Right. No, we we were right on one two nine. <laughs> oh, I'm getting this all wrong. Right. So there's our collision on the pipes set up, perfect, ready to go. Okay. So what we're gonna, just going to do, hit a save game, just to save all our stuff. I can't stress that enough. Always, always, always save your game, because if you lose it, that's it. It's gone. It's it's fairly annoying when that happens so just make sure you hit that save game up there it takes a couple of seconds so if we just go back to Dave's head here and we're gonna go to the collisions on this guy as I said those collisions are perfect Um, so I think that's about it for this video Um, yeah we've set up the actors and the background and the level so yeah um, so guys thanks for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to head on over to uh, Scott's channel and say hello he's the he's pretty much the inspiration behind this whole tutorial he done one I made the game from his tutorial and decided I wanted to go and make my own so thank you Scott and that's about it guys thanks for tuning in I'm out of here peace